Hi, Kathy Dam and Cookie Monster here. I wanted to tell you a little bit about our claim critique that's coming up. It's not right away, but I wanted to give you some heads up. It's one of my favorite assignments for this class because I know that many of you won't go on and use statistics. And so this is a way for you to showcase how you might use the stuff you learned in this class in your own lives. So what I'd like you to do is pick a product, something that interests you, because it's easier to write on something that interests you. Um, you're gonna pick a product and tell me three things about, sorry, arthritis, three things about that product. Um, the first is what claim do they make? All products make a claim. Make your teeth brighter, your eyelashes look longer, your hair color stay longer, whatever their product claim is. So just articulate the claim and um, make sure it's clear to us what you think they're saying. The second part, which is the hardest part, is tell me what statistics you need to see to believe their claim. So for example, if they say they're gonna make eyelashes longer, I think I'd need to see a dependent T because I need to see your eyelash length before and then after using the product. But let's say it's a product that says it's gonna reduce the length of your cold. I can't really do a dependent T because I can't have uh, the same person with a cold and with and with, so I'd have to have two groups. Those who have um, the treatment, like the uh, coldies and those without the coldies, right? And see who has the longer cold. So I would need to see you describe clearly in that second piece what statistics you'd need to see from that company to believe their claim. And then the third piece, which is the easiest and usually the most disappointing, is where you look at the product, uh, their box or their website, and see if they actually did any statistics to um, back up their claim. So most oftentimes you're going to say they didn't do anything. Um, and that's okay. That doesn't affect your grade. But I just want you to look and see if they said anything. You might be surprised which products actually have data to back up their claims and which don't. This is really fun for all of us because we're going to post it on the discussion board so we can all read the other products and see which ones we can trust and which ones we can't. Um, and there's some example posts in the discussion board already. So you can see what I've written, um, a storyline that um, or not a storyline, but a product that I evaluated. And then you can see a couple of A examples from other students. So you can see more what a student would write. Um, but this is an assignment that you can prep way ahead of time and check in with me if you want. Um, there's no reason why you can't get full credit because it's really about uh, putting in the effort and um, you kind of can work on it from now and until May. So uh, let me know if you have any questions. I look forward to reading these. This is my most favorite assignment for this class. All right, see you online.